Hey, what's that? What? Dad, you don't hear that? What? It's a dog. Oh. Huh. Hey, 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 what are you doing? I'm gonna make sure he's okay. Hey, don't go down there. Hey, that little fella. He doesn't have any tags. Well, I'm sure the owner's around here somewhere. I don't think so. He looks lost. I know where you're going with this. We're not taking that thing home. Come on, man. <laughs> Can we walk past the living creature who needs help and pretend he doesn't exist? Yes, we can. We are New Yorkers. We're trained to do that. I don't have a heart. Look at him. Frankie, I've got a heart, okay? I've got a big heart. But in this city, there are thousands of lost, scared animals. You can't help them all, you know? Come on. In Manhattan, you gotta be tough. Gotta be strong. Gotta be practical. Gotta be moving. Let's go. Come on. We won't look back. Here we go. That's it. should just move to Connecticut. <laughs> some signs. We'll find the owner. Okay, if we can't, I just want to make it clear we're not keeping him. I'm way ahead of you. I'm a single guy in New York. What am I going to do with a dog? <gasps> Who's this cute little fella? Hey. Uh, we don't know. We just found him in the street. Oh, I love dogs. Actually, it was more of a rescue situation. <laughs> I I'm Frankie. Yeah, and I'm Warren. We live in 2B. Nice to meet you. I'm Jody. Listen, if you end up keeping him... We're not. We might. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm dog sitting for my friend next week. Maybe we could go to the park together. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, I make a great pasta sauce. Uh, you know, why don't you come up for dinner Saturday night? Kind of a welcome to the building thing. And uh, we could walk the dogs after. It's a date. Great. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye bye. Okay. Aren't you just daddy's little chick magnet? <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. What? I was just... Yeah, I know exactly what you were doing, and it was shameless. You know, this dog is not your pimp. Great dog. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Thanks. I hate taking the stairs. Oh, my God, is that a dog? Yeah, we just found him. Well, keep it away from me. What's the matter? Vern hates dogs. I have been bitten by these vicious dingoes my whole life. Listen, you have nothing to worry about with this little guy. He's harmless. Yeah, look at this face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. He is kind of cute. Yeah. yeah. It's just a little fluff ball. Go ahead, pet him. Nice doggy. Yeah. Nice doggy. <laughs> never seen anything like it. He went after Vern like it was a little pork rind. Oh, he ripped my jacket. Oh, what a cute little dog. It tried to kill me. How adorable. He's lost, but we're going to find the owner, Meryl. Meryl, you're the building manager. Tell them no dogs or small animals of any kind. Vern, we made an exception for you. We can make one for him. This isn't funny. This is my favorite jacket. Well, here's something that might cheer you up. I'm buying two tickets for the Kirov Ballet. Would you like to join me as my guest? You're going to the ballet? <laughs> Opening night gala. Wow! Aren't those tickets kind of pricey? Ooh, a couple hundred bucks. Mm. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's right. I lent you $400 months ago. But I'm taking you to the ballet. If I wanted to watch men prance around like gazelles, I'd go to happy hour at the Lavender Lounge. <laughs> I want my money. But Fern... Maybe I could... Wait, oh, hi. Hey. Pina, what are you doing on three? I wasn't thinking. I got off at the wrong floor. You pushed the wrong button? No, I took the stairs. <laughs> well, look, uh, Vern, if, if I could just pay you next month... Forget it, Meryl. I want my money. Tonight. What was that about? Well, I was going to the Kirov Ballet, but Vern's making me pay back the money I owe him. If it would get you off the hook... It would be my distinct pleasure and honor to dangle him from the roof by the ears. You know, that wouldn't be... No, we really shouldn't. Can't we just keep him till the weekend? No, once these signs go up and the owner calls, he's going back. Look, here's the bottom line. I'm trying to set up a sexy, romantic evening. I can't do that without the dog. 
Remember the good old days when all you needed was wine and candles? Hey, Pino. Whoa, a dog. Yeah, I'll, I'll take him to my room. You don't like dogs either? No, I love them. It's just I'm intensely allergic. My skin gets a rash, I scratch it, and it gets all blussy. <laughs> What's blussy? It's a word my mom made up for when blood and pus gets all mixed together. <laughs> get this straight um in your home there was enough blood mixed with pus it needed its own word <laughs> well we didn't use it as much as blappy or snort <laughs> but still frankie hurry now we're all out of small talk <laughs> actually I, I i should go i yeah. already feel a little scratchy okay as you probably noticed how much are tickets to the ballet? Well, it depends. If you get tickets for the gala, that goes high as 200 apiece. Man, prices like that could give a guy vomaria. <laughs> Say goodbye to Pino. Horn, uh, the dog's sick. Uh, I think we gotta take him to the vet. He's breathing funny. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 we cannot afford a vet. No, listen to him. He's wheezing. Listen. Mmm, it's really more of a purr. <laughs> Dogs don't purr. Maybe it's just a really ugly cat. It's a precious life. Don't you have any compassion? Yeah, listen, I'm loaded with compassion, okay? I got it up to the armpits. But what I'm short on is money for a vet, Frankie. It's a little dog with a little cough. How much could it be? $387. Oh, I'm just like you. Of all the dogs in New York, you had to find the one that apparently smokes three packs a day. <laughs> We'll come up with the money. Yeah, we're gonna have to, since you told the vet, do whatever it takes. Just remember, we're saving a precious life. Yeah, if you say precious life one more time, I'm gonna hit you with a rock. <laughs> Come on, relax. We did the right thing. Well, we have rent due in two weeks, Frankie, all right? Unless the heavens part and somebody, like, floats down from the sky and hands us a pile of cash, we are screwed. Hey, hey guys. Oh, I have to run out. This is a $400 I owe Vern. Could you make sure he gets it? Warren? Warren, I paid the vet. The dog's gonna be fine. Cut the lights! Cut the lights, for God's sake! What's the matter? I don't want Vern to know that we're home. He's left, like, like ten messages asking where his money is. So what are we afraid of? Sure, we stole his money, but we saved the dog's life. God's on our side. I'm not worried about God. God has never bitch slapped me. Warren, it's fine. Just tell him the truth. He'll understand. Me? I'm not telling him. He's your best friend. Yeah, but you found the dog. Yeah, but it was your sister's money. That you made me steal. To save a precious life. Shut it. Why don't we keep rocks in this house? Fine. I'll tell Vern. Yeah, yeah. And you'll tell him it was all your idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay, right. okay. Go hide now. <laughs> Just turn on the lights and I'll deal with Big Bad Fern. Jeez! Someone locked the window. I can't get in. Fern, what are you doing here? Meryl says you have my money. Where is it, Warren? Um, well... Come on, fork it over. I've been waiting months for that cabbage. I want to see it, feel it, taste it, rub it all over my body. <laughs> At least we won't have to see that. New jacket? Thanks for noticing. I had to replace the one your little Velociraptor ruined. Uh, Vern, why don't, you, why don't you have a seat there? Frankie's got something he's got to tell you. Okay, Vern, uh, here's the truth. Uh, there's a problem with your money. Problem? What problem? Well, the dog got sick and... Uh, and what? And what? And then we took him to the vet. You took my money and spent it on that Cujo wannabe? <laughs> How could you do that? Yeah, it's a precious life. <laughs> what about that check I wrote? It's bouncing faster than Siegfried on Roy. <laughs> oh, don't worry, we'll pay you back. Oh, this isn't over. I'll get you, and your little dog, too. <laughs> I'll never admit it, but he's been waiting his entire life to say that. Look at this. Do, 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 do. It's lovely. Oh, 
Hey, guys. Hey, Jody. How's the little patient doing? Uh, getting better every day, except this college turned around. Still think we should have gotten that green one. Oh, the blue one's great. Hey, Jody, what do you think of this collar? I don't know about the collar, but the two of you with that dog is about the sweetest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, we're still on for dinner tonight, right? Seven? Absolutely. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Those boys in 2B. Cute, huh? Yeah. I love gay couples. They're so much fun. Hey, where did the answering machine go? What? The answering machine's gone, and there's a note. Dear criminals, you will get your answering machine when I get my money. And for every day that goes by, I'm taking another appliance from you miserable thieves. Love and laughter, Vern. I can't believe he'd do that. Yeah, this couldn't have happened at a worse time. How are we going to know now if the owner calls? You know, those signs have been up for over a week now. Oh, Frankie. Oh, maybe we should just talk about it. No, 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 no. Do not do this to me. Come on, Warren. He's a special dog. You see how people look at us when we're out with him? They love him. Mm. The people at the market, the people at the park, everybody. I know. And I know you love him, too. Admit it. I seen you rubbing his belly when you thought I wasn't looking. Ticks. He's looking for ticks. Come on, Warren. I don't, I don't know. It's, this is a very, very, very big step. I love you. <laughs> All right, he can stay. But I love you. Let's get one thing straight. I'm the gay one. <laughs> That was a fabulous dinner. So, does Warren cook, too? Nah, he's a lousy cook, but he's got other talents. Oh, I bet he does. <laughs> you know, it's a shame he couldn't be here tonight. Yeah, what a shame. <laughs> you all right? Oh, I, I twisted my neck doing yoga. It's weird, because I can usually lock my ankles right behind my head. <laughs> More wine? Yeah, yeah, I think that might relax my neck. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rub it for you. Would you? You don't mind? Ah, uh, nah. <laughs> oh. Oh, that is so good. Warren is a lucky guy. <laughs> oh. Hey, would you mind if I took off my top? Not at all. <laughs> You know, normally I wouldn't do this, but since it's you. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Kissing your neck. Uh, <laughs> why? Well, I was gonna start slow, but I guess I could dive in like you. But you're gay! Excuse me? Aren't you gay? No! Warren's not your boyfriend? God, no, why would you think I was gay? What else was I supposed to think the way you and Warren walk around with that little dog? Everyone assumes you're a family. <laughs> Everyone? Who's everyone? The people at the park, the people at the market, everybody. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm so embarrassed. I have to go. And as I'm making my move, the whole time she's thinking I'm gay. And that Warren's my boyfriend, and that me and him and the dog are some kind of little family. <laughs> what am I gonna do? All right, before I give you my advice, tell me once more about his shirt being off. <laughs> Pino, you brought this on yourself, my friend, by moving into the village and living with the village people. <laughs> what are you 
talking about? If you play with fire, don't be surprised when you end up flaming. <laughs> you know, what am I going to do? It's a no-brainer, Frankie. You got to get rid of that dog. But I just talked Warren into keeping him. Bottom line, get rid of man's best friend or you'll be known as man's best friend. <laughs> See what I did there? With the words? Hey, guys, we're back. Hey, Juan. Frankie, you should have been with us at the park. Everyone was asking where that little guy's other daddy was. Fire, fire, run for your life. Hey, guys, I'm getting the dog some water. You want anything? Listen, Meryl, I got tickets to the ballet. Would you care to join me at Lincoln Center? Say schwa? the sweetest thing that anyone's ever done for me. I would love to. What's the matter? Hey, nothing. You're just touching the dog and I'm allergic. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'll pick you up at 730. I'm going to the ballet. I gotta pick up something to wear. Thank you so much. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's really sweet, Pino. You know, I, I think you're really gonna enjoy the ballet. It seems yeah. pretty moving and actually uh, quite magical. I like magic. Is there a hospital near Lincoln Center? <laughs> Listen, Warren, I gotta talk to you. What's the matter? The dog's gotta go. Well, no, 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 he does not. I just took him out. He went like a trooper. <laughs> I mean, we gotta find him another home. What? Why? What? Because what? of this dog, everybody thinks I'm gay and you and I are a couple. Oh, who thinks that? Jody, her friends, everybody. Well, but you're not. That's not the point, Warren. No, that's exactly the point. Come on, you're not telling me that you're willing to give up something that you love just because of what a handful of strangers think? Listen, Warren, it's oh, not... Wait, 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 what about my feelings? Huh? I didn't want to pick him up out of that stairwell. I didn't want to bring him into this home. I did not want to steal Vern's money, but you made me, and now I love him. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry about that, but I can't have people walking around thinking I'm gay. Creeps me out. Why? Well, you don't see me getting all creeped out when people think I'm straight. Well, it's different. Being straight's not a problem. Look, Juan, I I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... He, it doesn't look. matter. I'm keeping him. What? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna no, dress him up in little baby clothes. I'm gonna stuff him in a stroller. And I'm gonna follow you all around town saying, Why did you abandon our family? <laughs> Please don't do that. After what you pulled, I'll do whatever I damn well please. What? I mean, hello? Yes. Yes, we do have the dog. He's just fine. Yeah, well, you can come by any time you want, I guess. We're at um, 36 Christopher Street, apartment 2B. Yeah, see you then. The owner's coming over? Listen, I'm really sorry. Save it. Hey, Vern, it's Warren. I just thought you should know the owner came, got the dog, and left us a check for the expenses. So when you get this message, come get your money. Oh, Warren, I'm really sorry about the dog. I know how much he meant to you. I'm gonna miss the sound of those little feet scampering around the apartment. Well, you still have Vern. <laughs> Pino told him I'd be down here. Does he know to dress up for the ballet? Oh, yeah. He said he was going to look his very best. <laughs> oh, my God, Pino, did I do this? I'm okay, really. I, I was going to cancel, but then this one went down. <laughs> wow. Are you sure you want to go? I wouldn't miss it for the world. I, just one thing. If I start to have a seizure, could you jam this needle on my neck? Okay. You two kids have a ball. Wow. Wow. So the owner come over? Yep. Dog's gone. All right, I'm here. Where's the money? Here you go. 
four hundred dollars. You can count it if you want. Don't be ridiculous. I trust you. <laughs> Listen, Vern, you gotta let Warren off the hook. I mean, this is all my fault. If you're gonna be mad at somebody, be mad at me. Look, I got the money. I can pay for the jacket. All is forgiven. Great. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go get your CD player, your answer machine, and your waffle iron. Uh, we don't own a waffle iron. You don't? Mm -mm. My God. Whose window did I go through? <laughs> Sorry about the dog. I miss him too. Uh, just thought if it'd be all right with you, maybe we could try some fish. Well, if you really think we can handle it. You know, I don't want anyone thinking we're a couple of gay oceanographers. <laughs> I don't think that'll be a problem. Listen, sometimes I forget that it, it might be a little bit tough for a guy like you to move into my world. But I do know that you're trying. You don't know how hard I'm trying. These are both male. <laughs> 